this video I'm going to show you how to make the most bioavailable curcumin supplement that you can make by yourself. It is sourced by Brad Kalkin. He posted it on his website a couple of years ago and I don't think it has gotten the attention that it deserves. Curcumin is all about bioavailability and bioavailability is all about solubility. So if we can make a very soluble version of curcumin and complex it with the right stuff, then we can have it very, very bioavailable. If you take curcumin by itself, you will not absorb very much of it. And therefore there are like these tricks with adding piperine to it or complexing it with polysorbate 80 like in the 185x supplement by uh, Sauger. The current version of the recipe will yield about three times the amount of curcumin that you would get in one capsule of the Sauger uh, supplement. So you're looking at about a tenth of the cost of the Sauger supplement if we assume that solubility is a factor that we have to consider for efficacy. You actually have to be quite cautious with this recipe and that's why I got one of these masks because you're gonna produce some steam that contains sodium carbonate. This steam at a high concentration will harm your airways so you don't want to breathe that. Also it will harm your eyes. This is the actual stuff you'll need. At first we have the mask and that is very important. Um, you'll need a pot with a glass uh, container in the middle and this syringe to get the curcumin into a mixture and to be able to put that into the capsules. You'll need this thing to give it all a good stir. You will also need food grade sodium carbonate, which is this one. You will also need food grade glycerin, which is this one. Here's our capsule machine. And of course, you'll need some curcumin powder. This is 99.5% curcumin. Lastly, you'll need a butter knife and the glass to test solubility. Roughly 65 grams of sodium carbonate. We add about 20 grams of 95% curcumin powder and around 100 grams of glycerin. Our weapon of choice. Notice just one. <laughs> and after we get this a little warm, we will start adding our mixture. Now comes the creepy part. Make sure you're using a mask to protect your respiratory system and also some glasses to protect your eyes. You will see we're both wearing protection for lungs and eyes. Sodium carbonate is dangerous in the hot steam. It is not a problem in the finished capsules. Now we add some olive oil to a plate so we can make this syringe nice and smooth. This will be very necessary later on. Next we will combine this with the glycerol. You're now seeing this is a very thick mixture. It is not translucent. So that means it's not hot enough. But since we know how much we need, we'll just keep adding more. The mixture is now at 55 degrees Celsius. Still a long way to go. So now we are waiting for the temperature to reach 90 degrees Celsius. I'm not sure if you got that. I thought I'd leave it in for comic effect. We're continually checking with a food thermometer because once we reach 90 degrees Celsius, it's time for the first test of solubility. Just fill a glass with water and dip a butter knife in the mixture, making sure you stir all of it into the water. There should be nothing remaining on the butter knife that may take a couple seconds. 
and what you're looking for is nothing floating on top and a completely transparent mixture. If you get a bit of curcumin floating on the top, you may not have reached the optimal temperature yet or your ratios may be off. Looks kind of tempting, doesn't it? So to demonstrate, this is curcumin without anything added to it floating on top of water. This is what you don't want to see. Since I'm reusing a syringe here, I'm lubing it up a bit with olive oil. It's very important that it goes very smoothly because the mixture is very thick. Now we just pull it up into the syringe, maybe about 10 milliliters. And then you'll need a steady hand. I recommend pushing the plunger down with your thumb and directing it into the capsules quickly because after about, I don't know, a minute or so, the mixture will have cooled enough to be very thick again. The temperature is all that matters here. The HPMC coating will prevent the capsules from leaking over time. I recommend storing them in the fridge so the mixture keeps kind of hard and won't dissolve the capsules at all. You get about 153 milligrams of curcumin dissolved in this mixture per capsule. Brad Culkin in his original recipe was using about double the amount of sodium carbonate and curcumin that I'm using here. I found this to be impractical, so I decided to make a little lower potency. However, your mileage may vary and you might just as well get 300 milligrams in there. Make sure you always test your product with the butter knife method, because if something is off, tons of undissolved curcumin might be hiding in the black sludge. The only way to know for sure is to do the butter knife test in the water. And this is the finished product. Well, I guess that concludes the recipe. It's not really the best quality I could do. Maybe I'll do another one. I think you get the, get the gist. I know I'm looking kind of silly with the mask. We didn't have two of those. So I used the Russian style one that still had lying around. If you're on a budget, I think this is the most effective way to use your dollars to get curcumin into your body and uh, I'm interested to hear your experiences. Let me know and never forget this mask. You'll need it.